Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, guess what? The New World Order, they're at it again. They tried it over the weekend, you know, with in New York with the bombing, and New Jersey with the bombs, and Minnesota with that um, Muslim guy stabbing those people, then getting killed. You know, they was trying to get somebody to bite, and they didn't, but over in Charlotte, boy, have they bought they bought into it and they're biting hard and Obama and Clinton you know and Kerry and all of them they're loving it you know that's the new war, world order they want chaos they want anarchy they want violence so that way they can um, come in and take your rights away my rights you know your freedom of religion your freedom of speech your freedom to carry and you know have a gun you know it's um it's getting crazy and people are just keep playing into them you know as of um october 1st if our congress don't stop it obama's given internet control over to the un i think the group is called i can i c a n n uh, check them out, you know, don't take my word for it, do your research. But what gets to me on this protest, you know, you can protest, it's your God-given right to assemble and protest peacefully, you know. You, you, you have the right to that, but over there, they're not doing it peacefully. They're burning, assaulting, looting, you know, they're, they're, they're just... What's out in the street protesting is nothing but the scum, trash of the earth. They're just, they're nothing but trash. Uh, I guarantee you half the people there are not even from the area. Area George Soros and Obama and Clinton has shipped them in just to cause the chaos. You know, I heard that um, state of emergency has been declared over there. You know, they're bringing in the National Guard. Obama's licking his lips because that's what he wants. He wants it to escalate, so he declare martial law. When he declares martial law, people, there goes the elections. And you know, if he declares martial law there, you know, people's going to get pissed in other states and going to riot and this and that. And he can declare martial law there and there and there. And for you know, we got lock, total lockdown, and he's in office as long as he wants to be. It's fixing to turn into a civil war, a race war, and a revolutionary war all in one. And I really hate to see that day come. I mean, that that's going to be, that's going to change a lot of people's lives. Not for the best, for the worst. But that's what they want to do. They want to depopulize us. They want us to destroy our country so the globalists can swoop in and take control. You know, we'll be so weak, we couldn't, we ain't going to be able to fight back. And they can just take control. Open your eyes, people. Stop. Talk to people. Try to get them to listen. I mean... You know, the, the, those Black Lives Matter protesters over there are saying, you know, everybody's racist. The whites are racist against them. The, the cops are racist against them. That they're all, everybody's racist. Those ignorant sons of bitches are the most racist people. I can't even call them people because they're things. The racist things that I've ever seen in my life. If you combine the Klan... The skinheads, the Aryan Brotherhood, the Nazis, the, um, um, hell, I don't know what else. They're, they're not as racist as the Black Lives Matter. And the Black Lives Matter can get away with it because they're protected by Big Brother Obama in the White House. And Uncle George Soros funding them. Just like radical Islamic terrorists. Are protected. It's crazy. A criminal can be invited to the White House 
and Obama embraces them. Clinton embraces them. Kerry embraces them. But you never see one of them, one of those pricks, at a fallen officer, a fallen firefighter, a fallen veteran, gravesite, or at their memorial. You never do. But to a, a racist group like the Black Lives Matter, oh man, he's all smiling and cutting up with them and, you know, his funded ISIS groups, is, you know, that Islamic terrorist group, radical terrorist, he's all for them. But that's the globalists. You know, don't, I was watching where that, that CNN reporter was just standing there talking and a guy come up, a thug, a puss came up and hit him, knocked him down. No sense in that. I guess the white journalist is racist for standing there and the black guy just had the right to do it. He's not racist though, is he? That's what the news will report or that's what Clinton will say or that's what Trump, I mean not Trump, but um, um, Obama will say. Trump's giving them hell. Trump, if when Trump gets in there, the Black Lives Matter groups, they're going bye-bye. He ain't going to put up with their shit. But if Marshall's Law is declared, Trump might not be able to get in there. But it's, it's, it's crazy. And they had another guy. They beat another guy who was going to, trying to throw him into a fire. But that's not racist, is it? Not according to the government control media. That's not racist. Or if it, even if they... Show it. You guys need to get on the web, you need to get on YouTube, and go to these independent news journalists. They don't have nothing to hide. They're not making the $100,000 or a million dollar salary a year. You know, they, they bring the news. If it's pretty, it's pretty. If it's dirty, it's dirty. They bring the facts and the truth. They don't play the game. They're, 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 they're real journalists. You know, they report what's going on in the world, and they don't cover up anything. That's what I watch. So you guys really need to, you know, check them out, because this TV crap, it's all, it's all controlled by Obama and Clinton, especially the Clinton Foundation. But guys... We're, we're coming to, into dark times, and it's going to get worse. The closer these elections come, the new world order is going to, they're like the devil. They're going to have that pitchfork out just a poking, trying to get to chaos, trying to get to animosity. And people's going to, and all it's going to take is these, rioter, these rioters, rioters and looters to go into a neighborhood and try to burn it down. And the neighborhood, armed neighborhood, turns around and starts shooting her ass. And you're going to hear the Black Lives Matter. You're shooting me. You don't have the right to shoot me. You're racist for shooting me because we're trying to burn you and destroy your stuff. And Obama and Clinton and Kerry and CNN and all them, they're going to be right on the side of Black Lives Matter and the looters and the criminals. Oh, and they're going to push the gun control. They're going to... It's all it's all there in front of you guys. You need to open your eyes. You know, start talking to your local politicians at the county level, then move up to the state level. Like I said, we're losing internet October 1st. They're turning it over. Obama's turning it over to the UN. I think it's the um, I-C-A-N-N, ICANN. You know, look it up. And, but, that's a crock of shit. He has no right to do it. Well, he has no right to do anything. He has no right to be our president, in my opinion. But, guys, just, um, watch your P's and Q's, you know. Get ready, because there's a storm brewing. And the globalists and the liberals... And the things in the White House and the things wanting to get in the White House, especially, you know, I'm talking about Hitler, Clinton. You know, they're wanting all this animosity and chaos. They're wanting it because 
you know. And the funny thing is, they're going to want it so bad, but when it starts, and we, the people, get sick of it, and we start, oh, they're going to be calling for the UN to come in to help us, to, to, to stop us, and that's a joke. That's like sending kindergartens out, trying to stop two grown men street fighting. That ain't going to happen. We're going we're gonna to walk over the UN like there ain't nothing. And we're going to take our country back. But I hate to see that day. I really do. Because the little ones are going to suffer. You know, that's what I'm really worried about. What's coming, the little ones. But the New World Order don't care. They don't care. Guys, I'm going to get off of here and just watch. Just do, do your own investigation. Get on there and watch the watch real news, not the not this government controlled crap. Watch the real news. Till next time, guys. I'll see you. Bye.